The Rocky Report, brought to you by AMP, Avidus Group, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Montana, EBMS, First Interstate Bank, Montana Tobacco Quit Line at 1-800-QUIT-NOW, Northwestern Energy, Tyrama, Yellowstone Bank, and your local Ford store. And now, from Pizza Hut on 16th and Grand, your host, Bruce Parker. Hi everybody and welcome to Pizza Hut on 16th and Grand in Billings for the Rocky Report. I'm Bruce Parker. Well, I have lots of highlights from football, volleyball, soccer, and much, much more. We'll be joined by Brian Armstrong, Lori Kelly, and Aaliyah Billis to talk volleyball. That and much, much more up next on the Rocky Report. At Pizza Hut, we've got a carryout deal just for you. Any pizza, any size, any crust, and any topping for just 10 bucks. You want a large hand-tossed pepperoni and mushroom? $10. Or maybe you're a large pan supreme kind of person? $10. Thinking about a combination of your own? Well, that's $10 too. That's any pizza, any size, any crust, and any topping for just 10 bucks. And get stuffed crust for just two bucks more. This 10 buck carryout deal ends soon. So hurry to Pizza Hut today. My name's Charlie and I've been rodeoing for about 12 years. You learn to love it and you grow up with it all the time and you have to get hooked on a rodeo by somebody and that's your family. When I lost my granddad, it was pretty rough. Everybody loved him so much and if he didn't smoke, he'd probably still be here. Athletes try to stay in the best of shape as they can and smoking's not gonna get you there. So I decided to stand up and help the Montana rodeo that I love break away from tobacco. Our physicians and athletic trainers have been building better athletes for over 20 years. We are the official sports medicine provider to the Billings Mustangs, MSUB Yellow Jackets, and Rocky Mountain College Battle and Bears. AMP ensures that athletes of all ages and skill levels receive the training and medical care for top performance and to stay healthy. AMP, Athletic Medicine and Performance, powered by St. Vincent Healthcare, Ortho, Montana, and Yellowstone Surgery Center. It was one heck of a game at Nelson Stadium in Helena. Let's go to our highlights. The Bears hit the road this week for a big game in Helena, Montana against the Carroll College Fighting Saints. The Saints would score first on the Bears, but so far a defensive battle as both offenses seemed to struggle early on. But Rocky's offense would start clicking later in the second quarter as Kalen Reed sets up shot for Jade Olson to punch in a touchdown to tie the score. Rocky's defense would stall the Saints and Chase White would connect with Dylan Woodall for an impressive 86-yard touchdown, Bears up 14-7. The Bears would tack on a field goal going into halftime, extending their lead 17-7. The Saints would make some adjustments as they would open their second half with a 57-yard touchdown, Saints now catching up 17-14. But the Bears would not flinch as the offense responds with Chase White throwing a touchdown pass to Andre McCullough, scoring now 23-14. The game now turning into a shootout as Carroll would throw another touchdown pass to narrow the score 23-21. Rocky would unfortunately shoot themselves in the foot with a bad punt, setting up the Saints to take the lead with an 11-yard touchdown pass. The shootout would continue as Rocky's offense would get back in rhythm as Chase White would find McCullough again as Rocky takes a one-point lead 30-29. Carroll would respond yet again and take the lead over Rocky 35-30, but on the ensuing kickoff, number 5 Eric Buer would return the kick to the house with a 95-yard kick return, giving a sudden momentum shift to the Bears. But in the last 15 seconds of the game, Carroll would get lucky and connect a Hail Mary pass, beating the Bears in a heartbreaking game. Final score, 42-36. to well, We're back and joined by head football coach Brian Armstrong. The life on the road in the Frontier Conference is never an easy one, and it was very difficult uh, this past Saturday at Nelson Stadium in Helena. And Brian, I thought you had a great game plan. Your guys played really hard, a uh, tough loss. Yeah, shoot, if we uh, could have 15 seconds back. <laughs> but uh, it's the way it goes. You got to finish, and we didn't find a way to do it. Well, you got down, and then you came back, and you took a 17 to 7 lead at halftime. And you played a lot of games at Nelson Stadium. Strange things happen in there, and uh, you probably didn't feel real comfortable going in at halftime, just leading by 10. 
No, and we knew that it was going to take another 30 minutes, and golly, it just didn't seem like we could get a break. We stripped a couple balls, and they bounced right back up to him, one of them right into the guy in stride, and he runs for first. You know I mean? It just kids played really hard, and I'm really proud of their effort, but at the same time, we got some stuff we need to, we need to clean up and we need to fix. I thought you threw the ball real well. Andre McCullough with 11 catches for well over 100 yards and a touchdown. Uh, were you happy with the offense and how they moved the ball through the air? Uh, I think our wide receiver core continues to improve. Um, some of those young guys are really starting to step up and make plays. Uh, Chase White continues to get better. He played, I thought, really exceptionally well um, Saturday. Uh, a little disappointed in our run game. We need to find a way to generate some yards on the ground, and we weren't able to do that um, like we had hoped to or expected to. So. You know, overall, we scored points. We gave ourselves a chance to win, but we needed to find a way to score one more. How about that young young offensive line? Uh, they gave Chase quite a bit of time to throw. The protection part was much, much better. The run game part was not uh, what we what we need to do for sure. And a little struggle on the, the punting game a little bit uh, with two that really hurt you. Yeah, we had a couple. One that I guess the punter slipped and he couldn't kick it, and then one, uh, and we are kicking into the wind. There was a pretty good wind going, and so... We'd had a negative punt actually where the ball came back. So instead of trying to kick it up into the wind, we decided to try to rugby it a couple times. And one of them, we kicked into the back of our own guy and one of them, he slipped and couldn't get it off. And so we gave him the ball down in their own end of the field there. And it didn't end up really hurting us as bad as it could have. I thought our defense did a nice job in those situations, but you know, things that obviously you don't anticipate happening and you need to find a way to correct them. Yeah, that second half was wild and wacky. Uh, you, you were up 10, you got down to, to Carroll. I, I was proud of the team, the way that they continued to come back and come back in that one. Yeah, and again, you can't say anything bad about our effort. And, uh, you know, I thought we showed good toughness, mental toughness, because there was times where it just looked like it wasn't going to happen. And we found a way, again, just 15 seconds away from it, got to find a way to finish. Let's talk about that last drive for Carroll. Uh, you were in a prevent defense. Did you have a defensive back slip on that last play? Nah, I think he, uh, they had run post corner uh, the play before and he was trying to, I think our safety ended up jumping the corner route and he ran post corner post, triple move. So, ah, frustrating, but it's not gonna get any easier this week. Eastern Oregon is gonna feel sorry for us, so we better figure it out and get on a bus and go find a way to get a win. And a long road trip, Ryan. Uh, probably not looking forward to that bus trip. Ah, shoot, it's, it is what it is. That's what you gotta do in the frontier. So get some movies and hit the open road. That's good. Brian Armstrong, we're gonna come back and talk about that trip to East Oregon and have much, much more. Stay with us on the Rocky Report. As a driven business owner, you want to pursue your dream, not worry about administrative chores, employee benefits, and HR. With Avitas Group, you don't have to. We'll provide the solutions you need. Everything from payroll and taxes to online marketing and IT. For each and every operational need, Avitas Group has an entire team of diverse, specialized professionals. Follow your dream. Leave the logistics to us. Okay, so you're officially off the clock. You better have a truck that can keep up. Ford F-150. From tailgating and touchdowns to suiting up and stepping out. It goes the distance with EcoBoost power and fuel economy. With all the slick details to keep you in the lap of luxury. Maybe that's why an F-Series truck is sold nearly every 42 seconds. Hey, get back to it, weekend warriors. Now during the Built Ford Tough Sales event, get up to 10986 total value on F-150. Only at your local Ford store. We'll get you there. Tirerama and Cooper Tires are driving home the savings this fall. Now through October 31st, when you buy a set of four qualifying Cooper Tires at Tirerama, you'll get up to a $70 prepaid Visa card back by mail. Take the money and ride this fall with Tirerama and Cooper Tires, starting August 28th through the end of October. See your local Tirerama for details. Tirerama, more than just a tire store. 
And Brian, uh, the Wild and Wacky Frontier Conference, uh, lots of upsets last week, uh, teams that maybe shouldn't have won one and, and teams that uh, could have won and really established themselves did do that, Montana Western. But you have to go on the road this week to play a very good Eastern Oregon team, and they're good at home. They're, they're good anywhere. They, uh, you know, their record, they're probably the best 0-3 team in the nation at any level of football. They, uh, you know, they opened up with a slow start to College of Idaho, but then lost one to Sac State and, uh, you know, should have beaten Southern Oregon, squandered a 17-point lead, I believe, in the fourth quarter to get beat on at the last second. So, but, uh, yeah, they beat a very good Tech team at home last week, so they've obviously got the ship turned, and... Uh, <laughs> So we're going to go up there and see if we can get a win. Did that surprise you a little bit, the way they handled Montana Tech? You know, not really. Again, I don't, you know, upsets. I don't know that there are a bunch of upsets in this league. I just think that on any given day, everybody's pretty darn close to the same. So it's, I mean, health-wise, injuries will take its toll as the season continues to go on with some teams and not as much with others. But I don't know that there are a bunch of up upsets, except maybe in the rankings part of it, you know, what teams are ranked, but there's not a bunch of difference from top to bottom. Now, were you surprised that, that Eastern handled Montana Tech the way that uh, they had, the Tech had been playing? Um, you know, a little bit. I think Tech lost their quarterback in the second quarter, which I'm sure had some impact, but again, Eastern's a very good football team, and they were picked to finish third in our conference in preseason, ranked in the top 15, so they're a very quality football team. Your team seems to always play well on the road. Uh, this is a long road trip. You leave on Thursday night about midnight and you travel all night and you get into La Grande, Oregon and you have to play a game. And is, is that difficult to do that when you have a long trip like this? Uh, you know, we've been pretty resourceful on the road. We'll go as far as Boise uh, and practice at Boise State at their indoor um, Friday morning, Friday at noon, I guess. And then let the kids grab a shower and get them something to eat and get into La Grande um, late afternoon. And, uh, have a few meetings and feed them some dinner and put them to bed and get up and try to get a win, get back on the bus and come home. That's good. Now, how about your football team? How, how do you feel it's, it's progressing and getting better each I week? I think we're getting better. Um, no question, offensively, we're getting better. Our, like I said, our quarterback and our wide receivers continue to improve and they played their best games. Uh, you know, defensively, we still did a lot of good things for the majority of the game. Uh, just at the crucial moments, we didn't couldn't come up with play when we needed it. And, and you know, tip of the hat to Carroll too. They're they're still a good football team, and they're still Carroll College, and they made plays when they had to. Injury wise, you came out uh, pretty unscathed. Pretty good. I think we got uh, maybe a knock to the head, so I think we'll maybe miss a guy for a week. But other than that, I think that's, we have the training, report, training room this afternoon at 4, so I'll know more, but uh, that's all I really know of this time. What are the keys, Brian, to, to bouncing back from a tough loss like you had last week against Carroll? Well, I think just being able to shake it off. I mean, uh, you know, we were embarrassed the Western game, and now we're kind of a little bit feeling sorry for ourselves. So we just got to come out, and nobody's going to feel sorry for you. That's just kind of life, and you got to pick yourself up by the bootstraps and uh, get started fast in the grand and find a way to get a win. We'll get some good movies, so yeah. you have some nice, you know, videos on the way down, and uh, good luck against uh, Eastern Oregon. Thank you, Head Coach Brian Armstrong. We'll have Brian back with us next week to talk about that road trip. Stay with us. Up much more on the uh, Rocky Report. Uh, we're going to talk with Lori Kelly and Aaliyah Billis, and we'll talk volleyball right after this. At Northwestern Energy, part of delivering a bright future means being connected to all our communities. It means delivering safe and reliable power to your home, while helping to power your business's success. It means actively planning for the future, while investing in future generations. It means working to ensure your safety and comfort, while comforting those in need. It's by working together that we're able to deliver a bright future. Because together, we're Northwestern Energy. Picking up pieces of my life Sometimes there's ones I just can't find But they found a home with you And when I think about the things that we've been through I know just one thing is true 
Upgrade. It means your day just got better. That's the idea behind First Rewards World MasterCard from First Interstate Bank. With every purchase, you earn points you can use to upgrade just about any aspect of your life. Even better, rewards come from your world, your neighbors, your favorite local businesses. It's the difference between dining out and dining out in style. Your style. First Rewards World MasterCard from First Interstate Bank. Your style, your rewards. Rocky Mountain College continues to roll. Joined now by head coach Lori Kelly, back off a road trip to Haver, yeah. destination point. And you go up there and you get a win. So that's kind of feel good about going up there and picking one up on the road. It is. Um, it's always tough to play there, but we, we like playing in Haver. Um, it's a smaller gym. The atmosphere is good. There's, it's usually packed. Um, our kids play well on the road. We play really well on the road. I, um, I've had teams that don't. And uh, this team lays always better on the road. I don't know why. Would it be safe to say, and we say it just about every week, there are no easy ones no matter where you're at? <laughs> there isn't. I mean, volleyball is is volleyball. Um, people have great games, and somebody lights it up, and you have to figure out how to adjust and switch it. And, and you know, we, we came out. Uh, they battled with us. Northern battled with us. And, and in the third game, they really battled with us. We got ourselves down a little bit. Um, but our team showed a lot of uh, integrity and, and just came back and, and won that game. Uh, another game of 32-30. Is this kind of a Tiger Woods syndrome? Tiger Woods got so good that everybody had to raise their game. Your volleyball team, so good, that one number one in the country last year, and everybody's kind of raised their game. Yeah, I, I would want to play us. I really would. This team is, is amazing. They, um, um, they're intimidating. They're, they're big, intimidating, aggressive. Um, they come up with plays that, that people think, oh wow, we finally got a kill and we get it up. Um, other teams just, they have nothing to lose. Um, and we've talked about that. It, it's, it's hard being number six in the nation, number one in the nation. Everybody's going to bring their best game because they have nothing to lose. Um, I mean, we talked about it. We did it with Texas Brownsville last year. We're like, huh, you know, we're number 10, 17, and they're number one. Let's go. And so I feel like that mentality is out there when they play us. So it's very difficult, and we know it. And you had some great performances this weekend. You know, you beat them a good Montana Tech team Thursday night. You go up to Haver and you win. Alita Billis, Mariah Stiffarm, Tori, Brooke. Every, it seems like your team and, and your veterans are really playing well. They, they carry us. You know, we have a lot of kids that come and play other roles, and they do a great job, and, and that's what we're working on. Uh, I think consistently our four seniors play so good. Uh, Kylie Nielsen's back and you know getting back into shape after being off a couple weeks so she gives us a lot. Um, Tess Hallerud and Haley Kapinga do a great job for us. Kelsey Oblander usually does a great job for us. She had a little serving problem last night and, and but we battled through it and um, it, I mean it was a tough game and it wasn't near as tough as Thursday night. Tech is a, a real nice team. They do belong in the top 25 and I'm glad that we got a couple teams ranked because they do deserve it. We had to really play that night. How do you continue to get better, Lori? I mean, how do you, you progress with this team? You know, you're, you're real good right now, but can it get better? Yeah, we have a lot of holes. We have a lot of holes. Um, most people are trying to get our setter out and our right side has to set. And, um, you know, Haber figured it, Northern figured it out for a while last night and then quit doing it. And um, I really feel like um, we will continue, continuously get better. I mean, Maya is a first, our two medals are first year medals. Um, yeah, we, we have some stability with our setter, and that's very important because Tori's amazing. But this team is, you're going to see it grow as well, and we just get better every week as well. My, uh, Montana Western this week, a team that is, has vastly improved over last year, and uh, get them at home, that's got to be a nice thing. Yeah, um, I think they lost both their games this weekend, so, um, you know, get them in our home court is going to be awesome. Hey, great uh, great start this season, 12-4, 2-0 the league. Keep it rolling. Thank you. We're, we're enjoying it. I love this team, and we and they have so much fun out there, so, and we really worked on that last night. We wanted to have fun as that, a team. That was great. Lori Kelly at home Friday at the Fortin Education Center, First Interstate Bank Court, 7 o'clock against Montana Western. Stay with us. Uh, Leah Billis up next on the Rocky Report. 
And this week's Student Athletes of the Week include a standout volleyball player and a Batland Bears top single caller. In volleyball, senior Mariah Stiffarm had another banner week, leading the Batland Bears to a pair of Frontier Conference victories. The six foot three middle blocker from Billings Skyview High School had 30 kills in Rockies wins over Montana Tech at home on Thursday and at MSU Northern Saturday. The sixth ranked Bears are 12 and four overall and two and zero in Frontier Conference play. And on the gridiron, junior quarterback Chase White had his best collegiate day of his career. The six foot three, two hundred and ten pound junior from Shelby hit on twenty seven of forty seven passes for four hundred forty nine yards and three touchdowns with no interceptions in a heartbreaking loss to Carroll College. He also rushed 11 times for 34 yards. Our student athletes of the week, Mariah Stiffarm and Chase White. At Pizza Hut, we've got a carryout deal just for you. Any pizza, any size, any crust, and any topping for just 10 bucks. You want a large hand-tossed pepperoni and mushroom? $10. Or maybe you're a large pan supreme kind of person? $10. Thinking about a combination of your own? Well, that's $10 too. That's any pizza, any size, any crust, and any topping for just 10 bucks. And get stuffed crust for just two bucks more. This 10 buck carryout deal ends soon. So hurry to Pizza Hut today. Local businesses, large and small, are the cornerstone of Montana's communities. And at Stockman Bank, we're honored to help them grow and prosper. We serve our fellow businesses with respect, care, and a personal touch. We know a good lender is a flexible lender who treats business owners as individuals with unique needs and goals. In other words, we treat them the Montana way. It's the only way we know. Stockman Bank. Montana Banking. Pure and simple. My name is Carson. Rodeo has become a very big part in my life. To win a rodeo, you gotta be really dedicated, so I have to stay in shape. I really like when you're getting done with a run, because sometimes you have the highs and your lows in rodeo, and, but when you do good, it's really a great feeling. Tobacco, in my opinion, doesn't, doesn't belong in rodeo. I mean, you can look at all the statistics, and it's just been a damaging, destructive product. Tobacco doesn't take center stage, not in my rodeo. So one of the top players on the Rocky Mountain College volleyball team is Aaliyah Billis. Aaliyah joins us today. The six foot two senior outside hitter from Bozeman High School is having a tremendous season and leading the Batlin Bears to a 12 and four record. Aaliyah, good to have you here. Are you a little tired from that trip to Hammer? I am a little tired. Yeah, we didn't get much sleep last night, but that's okay. <laughs> How much fun is it to go on the road in this league and get a road win? It is really fun just because like the atmosphere has changed about the different gyms. So it's fun to play in all those different atmospheres with different crowds and fans and some gyms are worse than others, but I mean, you get <laughs> now, Would you rather play at home or play on the road? Um, you know, I'd rather play at home just because it's, I mean, our home crowd and we play better. Actually, I don't even know if we play better at home or on the road, but I'd rather play. You just like those home fans. Those yes. Fans. All right, let's talk about you. You had an outstanding prep career at Bozeman High School. Katie Laszlo, that's your coach. Uh, why and how did you choose Rocky Mountain College? Uh, I would always go to camp here. I loved the camp. It was my favorite. And then one summer, she was like, well, do you want to come play for me? And I didn't really have any plans. And so I said, well, heck, yeah, I do. So that's why I ended up here, yeah. Let's take. Let's step back a year. Um, last year was a, a magical year, ranked number one in the country most of the season for the national tournament. Tell me about your experience last year. Uh, last year was like a dream. I felt like it was like we all came together. It was amazing just to be a part of such like a good team, and it was amazing. It felt like a win was just. I mean, we played so good together that. It was so like rewarding, but yeah, it was an amazing. Season. But everything changes for you this year. I mean, you had a whole bunch yeah. of seniors last year, yeah. and now you're the senior. I know. So it's how is that tough to take that on that role of being, you know, hey, I'm one of the, one of the top players on the team, and I got to be a leader to go off? Do you, do you like that? I actually really do like it. Yeah, it's like when we were playing last night and how rounds like this is the last time we were playing this gym. Like I got to give it like my everything. So, I mean, it is, I actually really like the role of being a senior on the team and like having to step it up and, it, yeah, I like it, yeah. 
before I ask you about your goals uh, for the rest of the season, let's talk about your academics. Uh, let us know about your major and what you plan to do when you graduate. Uh, my major is biology and I'm minoring in chemistry. I plan to go pre-med or go PA school. Um, I'm going to take a year off, definitely. And I also have one more class to finish, which is OCHEM. It's going to be a tough one, but yeah. Now, I always hear wherever I say <coughs> that OCHEM is the toughest class you can take. Is it really a tough one? Yes. Very hard. Yeah. So you're getting pumped up for that now. <laughs> yeah. How about your goal, Aaliyah, for, for the rest of the season? I mean, this is a team that could win the league and get back to the national tournament. Oh, we definitely can get back to the national tournament. I'm, that's like our main goal is just to focus. But one game at a time, I mean, every team wants to beat us, and so we have to bring it our all. So just one game at a time, play, play together, play as a team. And, we'll and, and you love the bus trip from, from, uh, from Billings, Montana to Sioux City, Iowa? <laughs> yeah, and actually, it's, yeah, I like it a lot. It's fun. We watch movies and play games, card games, yeah. Well, you really played well. We enjoy watching you play. Thank and, uh, you. you got Montana Western this week. Good luck. Thank you very and good much. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Alita Villa, senior out of Bozeman, Montana. Boy, she's having an outstanding season, as are the volleyball team in general at Rocky Mountain College. And you'll be able to see them Friday night against Montana Western in the Fortin Education Center on First Interstate Bank Court. 7 o'clock. Don't miss it. We're going to come back and wrap things up on the show. Don't go away. Focus on child hunger is an effort here in the region to make sure that our kids are getting enough to eat by providing more food to families in need. Just last year, we provided over 300,000 snacks and lunches in the Northwest. Every day, a thousand kids around the Northwest are fed thanks to Ford Focus on Child Hunger. When kids have the nutritious food they need, they really can just be kids. The partnership between Ford Fund, local food shelters, and the Boys and Girls Club is absolutely amazing. That's really what it means to go further. At Northwestern Energy, part of delivering a bright future means being connected to all our communities. It means delivering safe and reliable power to your home, while helping to power your business's success. It means actively planning for the future, while investing in future generations. It means working to ensure your safety and comfort, while comforting those in need. It's by working together that we're able to deliver a bright future. Because together, we're Northwestern Energy. Well, thanks for joining us this week at Pizza Hut on 16th and Grand Avenue. Lots of activities this week for the Rocky Mountain College Batman Bears. The football team is on the road. Long bus trip to La Grand Oregon and Eastern Oregon on Saturday. Volleyball will be home on Friday night against Montana Western. Soccer will be at home for the men against Walla Walla on Friday afternoon. Cross country also will be on the road this week. I'd like to thank our guests this week, Lori Kelly, Brian Armstrong, and Aaliyah Billis. We're going to have much, much more, so join us next week right back here at Pizza Hut. I'm Bruce Parker. Thanks for watching The Rocky Report.